Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, I'm starting this series of videos, and I wanna, I wanna upload them to my YouTube channel. So, whoever is trying to get into the boiler and heating um, tray will have a good documentation about how commercial boilers are commercial boilers are operated right i'm in one of the new york city new york city schools and as you can see i'm, I'm in the boiler room i have pretty much three boilers three different boilers with this beautiful with this beautiful power flame c-max burner i will explain everything in detail um, the best I can how the boilers how the boiler operates and what is each um, each uh, each component here from the transformer the three phase the flame safeguard right there that one that I'm pointing to this one the flame safeguard uh, the motor the uh, motor starter line starter the relays the burner itself the you know sort of the rotation I'm gonna explain uh, even my my BFD my variable frequency drive right so this one I'm gonna explain them I'm gonna explain even the um, the metasys um, boiler boiler automation system with back neck as you can see it's back neck right here so metas is i going to explain the build the building or building and boiler automation system i'm going to explain the gas train right here how the how the uh, gas train operates as you can see another expansion from the metas yeah, this one is still metas control boiler automation system this one controls the hot water I think it is this one boiler, boiler 2 or boiler 3 I think and this baby controls the oil so these boilers are dual fuel dual fuel means that these burners are capable and they are designed to burn either gas only gas or only oil as you can see i got my pump here i got all my setups i'm gonna explain in detail even uh like i like i was saying the flame safeguard which in this case is the semen controls one one of the most reliable flame safeguard in the market uh, i'm gonna explain step by step and i won't forget very important very important um, I will explain how the skip more variable vacuum pump and condensate pump works together in the entire heating system as, as you can see it's a massive header it's a massive header and I will explain on detail the best I can even or uh, the um, even the uh, pump sub substation, the oil pump sub substation, or transfer transfer station. Like I would say, uh, as you can see, this one is my chimney. I got my uh, fire tools, my third pass fire tools, the chamber, the combustion chamber, um, the combustion chamber. That one is. Um, the burner itself that one is the diffuser as you can see I got my uh, fire tubes now take a look at it fire tubes first, pa first, first pass is this one then it goes the flame goes in this way so second pass and, and, and it comes back to the third pass right here and it goes through the chimney right so I uh, would explain the best I can so you have a, a 
in in depth idea how the whole system works, right? Uh, I'll say little by little, you know. So let me know. Let me know if you guys, if you all like it, if you all are pretty much trying to get into the um, boiler, being a boiler mechanic um, here in New York, especially in NYCHA, like New York City Housing Authority, they need a lot, a lot of great, great, great mechanics. They always looking for great mechanics. And I would say, it's a, it's a good tray, you know? It's a great tray, I've been learning a lot of stuff. Even uh, fire, um, fire system, well, fire is um, a sprinkle automatic system, right? Fire sprinkle system or fire prevention system, as you can see right here. Well, there is a lot of stuff that I want to explain. Let me know if you like it or not, and what I can do. What what would be the first step that you want to know? What would be some questions that you have in, in related to how the system, how it, each boiler operates, how the flame safety operates, or even um, if you don't know how the um, heating, the steam heating system in New York works, like let's say for example but instance um new york city housing authority got especially washington washington jefferson wagner those are huge huge complex they their their pipes are underground um crossing first avenue second avenue i think it is underground and those are massive massive systems so like I was saying, even you know how the dampers actuators work. In this case, I got my Johnson control actuator. That one right there. That one is a Johnson control actuator. That is one of the um, critical components. Once the boiler is up and running, this damper should be should be open and it should be closed when the boiler is not running. So when the boiler is running, it has to be open to let air into the, 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 the boiler room. And then if we have enough oxygen to bring the levels of uh, combustion efficiency in this boiler. So I think the video is getting too long. So I will cut it right here and I will upload it and see if you guys want me to explain everything related to the boilers right so my name is eli i'm working for first heating solution here in new york let me know if you need anything you need if you want me to ask if you want to ask me you want if you want me if you want to ask me some question about about how the boilers operate and you know everything related to the boiler room i can answer you as you may notice, English is not my first language. I'm trying my best to communicate to you and help you out to get into this trade. And well, that's what it is. See you later.